Good morning, everyone. Today is the 8th of the May, Monday morning. I hope you're having a good week so far. Mark has been reading through the book, God Does Not Love Everyone, But He Does Love His Elect from Everlasting to Everlasting. Not a very popular book, I must say. <laughs> if you'd like a copy of this book, I'd be happy to send it to you. If you go to LarryWPhillips.com, go to our contact section and say, please send me your book, and I'll be happy to send it to you in a PDF file. Mark is going to be reading Chapter 18 today, God Reserves His Wrath for His Enemies. Chapter 18, God Reserves His Wrath for His Enemies. God is jealous and the Lord revenges the revenge and is furious. The Lord will take vengeance on His adversaries. And he reserves wrath for his enemies who can stand before his indignation, who can bide in the fierceness of his anger. His fury is poured out like fire, and the rocks are thrown down by him. Nay, in one, two, six. Here again we have the same theme proclaimed by the prophet Nahum that God reserves his wrath for his enemies. But in contrast, for his elect, the Lord is good, a strong home, and they have trouble, and he knoweth them that trust in him. Nahum one, seven. Prophet Habakkuk also showed that God has the people who have obtained his favor and mercy and the people who ordained for judgment. Art thou not from everlasting, O Lord, my God, my Holy One, and we shall not die, O Lord, thou hast ordained them for judgment. And O mighty God, thou hast established him for correction, Habakkuk 1.12. The same prophet showed the contrast between those who have been given the faith of Christ opposed to those who have not. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Yet I rejoice in the Lord, and I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength, and he will make my feet like hinds feet. He will make me to walk upon mine high places, to keep singer on my strength instruments. Back at 2, 4, 3, 18 through 19. What does the prophet Zephaniah have to say about those who are the enemies of God in contrast to his people? Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be his Sodom and the children of Ammon and Gomorrah. Even the breeding of nettles and salt pits and a perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them, the remnant of my people shall possess them. This shall they have for their pride, because they have reproached to magnify themselves. Against the people of the Lord of hosts, single daughter of Zion, shout of Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart of daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away the judgment she hath cast away out. He has cast out thy enemy, the king of Israel, even the Lord. Is in the midst of thee, thou shalt not see evil any more. In that day it shall be said, Jerusalem, fear thou not. Zion, let not thy enemy, thy hands be slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save, he will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Zephaniah 2, 9 through 10, 3, 14 through 17. What did the word of the Lord reveal? The prophet Haggai, I will throw the throne of the kingdoms, and I will destroy the strength of the kingdoms, the heathen. I will overthrow the chariots and those who ride in them, and the horses and the riders shall come down, every one by the sword of his brother. In that day, saith the Lord of hosts, will I take the Ozer of Babel, they will my servant, the son of Sheol, saith the Lord, and will make thee as a signet, for I have chosen thee, saith the Lord of hosts, they guide to 22 to 23. Prophet Zechariah has great news for the people of God. Sing and rejoice, O daughter of Zion, for lo, I come, and I will dwell in the midst of thee. Saith the Lord, and many nations shall be joined to the Lord in that day, and shall be my people, and I will dwell in the midst of thee. And thou shalt know that the Lord of hosts has sent me unto thee, and the Lord shall inherit Judah his portion in the holy land, and shall choose Jerusalem again, and be silent, O Lord. O all flesh before the Lord, for he is raised up out of his holy habitation, Zechariah 
two ten through thirteen, the prophet Zechariah also is the bearer of good news about the forthcoming Jesus the Messiah, who is the Redeemer. For his people wash all their sins away and clothe them with the righteousness of Jesus Christ, the branch. And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing in his right hand to resist him. The Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan, even the Lord that hath chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee, is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments, and stood before the angel, and he answered, and spake unto those that stood before him, saying, Take away the filthy garments from him. And unto him he said, Behold, I have caused thy iniquity to pass from thee, and I will clothe thee with the change of raiment. I said, Let them set a fair mitre upon his head. So they set a fair mitre upon his head. He clothed him with garments. The angel of the Lord stood by, and the angel of the Lord protested unto Joshua, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, that thou wilt walk in my ways, and if thou wilt keep my charge, when thou shalt also judge my house, and shalt also keep my course, and I will give thee places to walk among these that stand by. Hear now, Joshua, the high priest, thou and thy fellows that sit before thee, for they are men wondered for. Behold, I will bring forth my servant the branch, and the promise of Jesus Christ in Jerusalem on a donkey. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion, shout, O daughter of Jerusalem. Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, he is just and having salvation. Lowly and riding upon an ass and upon a colt, a fowl of an ass as well, the prophecy of them looking on Christ whom they pierced. The prophet also tells that Christ will be wounded in the house of his friends, and that the shepherd will be smitten, and the sheep will be scattered. And will pour upon the house of David, and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the spirit of grace and supplication, they shall look upon me whom they have pierced. They shall mourn for him as one mourneth for his only son, and shall be in bitterness for him as one that is in bitterness for his firstborn. One shall say unto him, What are these wounds in thy hands? And he shall answer those with which I was wounded in the house of my friends. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd, against the man that is my fellow, saith the Lord of hosts. Smite the shepherd, and the shepherd, the sheep shall be scattered, and I will turn my hand upon the little ones. Zechariah 3, 1-8, 9-9, 12-10, 13, 6-7. Thank you, Mark. Well, tomorrow we're re- we'll be ready for chapter 19. Jacob, have I loved thee, so have I hated. Have a good day today, and the Lord be with you is my prayer. God bless.